Hey guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to another uh, JavaScript tutorial. And today uh, we're going to take it another step further and talk about how to time in JavaScript. And I'll just show you guys what this after this lesson you'll be capable of doing. So if you remember our quiz, we now have a button that says start quiz and you're going to click on that and you're going to quickly type in all of your answers and then you're going to type check answer and I'm just going to get something wrong to start off so if I get that wrong it tells me which question I've got wrong and if I fix it then it tells me that my answers are correct and how long it took me to complete the quiz and I can click restart quiz for it to show up all over again. Okay, so if you want to try this on your own, feel free to do that and shut down the video. Otherwise, let's go on this journey together. Okay, now this is what we had at the end of last lesson. And this is the code for it. So the first thing you want to change is we want to hide all this until we press the button start quiz. So what I want to do is copy, sorry, is to type the code um, at the beginning. So even before form one, okay, I'm going to type in the code button type equals button. So this creates a button and when it clicks or when we click it, we're going to run the function start quiz. Okay. And obviously we'll define this function soon. Uh, sorry, just let me uh, fix up my code start quiz. And so if I refresh the page now, you can see start quiz at the top. But when I click on it, nothing happens because I haven't defined the function yet. And if you run Firebug, it should tell you that start quiz is not defined. Okay, so good old Firebug. Okay, now what we're going to do is define the Firebug, sorry, define the start quiz function. And uh, so function start quiz. And I want to move all the code that generates the questions into the start quiz function. Okay, so I have all of this stuff that tells me, that tells the computer to generate the questions and I move them inside that function so that when I refresh this, none of that's there. But when I click start quiz, uh, what did I do? Oh. The S is not capital. Right, refresh, start quiz. Yep. So now it's generated all that. The check answer button, we don't want it to show up until we click start quiz. So what do we do? We cut this code for the button. Okay, we cut it. And. We paste it in here as well, and we're going to put in the code for inserting the HTML into the question section of our page. And we're going to put this inside quotation marks, um, remembering that if you want quotation marks inside a quotation mark. You need to put it after a forward slash. Okay, so forward slash, forward slash. And that's it. Now I'm going to put this outside of the for loop. So not inside the for loop. Otherwise, it'll generate a button every time for five times. So now this will just generate a button at the end. So if we refresh that, click start quiz, the check answer button comes up there. And does it still work? Yes, it still works. Okay, now let's talk about 
the timing of it. So I type all of this code in. So 17, 12, 18, 11, 6. Tells me I got it all right. Oops. Forget you saw that. But we also need the time. So what that means is we're going to start timing it as soon as we click the start quiz button. Okay, and the timer function is called where is my start quiz here? The timer function is called set interval. So this is a function that allows you to run a function um, at to run a function at every time interval and this time interval is measured in milliseconds so a thousand milliseconds which is just one second every second we're going to run this function okay so you could either type a function here that you've already defined or you could define it right here so we can define the function right here and what we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable called timer and it's going to start with zero and then during the function when it runs the function every second we're going to increase it by one okay and notice how I put this code inside the start quiz function and uh, a good thing for you guys to do is to highlight all the code inside the for loop and then press sorry inside the start quiz function and press tab okay because that will indent the code and help you understand that all of this belongs to the start quiz function okay so it's going to increase the timer by one every time we sorry uh, after we click start quiz and then at the end when it displays your whether your answers are correct so the output name function okay it really shouldn't say output name anymore so wherever it says output name I'm gonna change it to check answers check answers otherwise it's like why do we have a function that it has the wrong name okay so does it still work yep and then what I'm gonna do is output how much time it has taken you to uh, how much time it has taken you to complete the quiz so the first thing you want to do is when we check the answer we're going to define a variable called all correct and initially this variable is going to be true okay but if we get something wrong then we're gonna set it to false okay but if we don't get anything wrong then it should be true so therefore we're gonna add an if statement during this function and we're gonna say that if all correct is equal to true okay then we're gonna output in this section of the code the HTML code in this section we're gonna add you completed the quiz in um, however many seconds okay so that should be enough and let's uh, check that after function body line 44 so do we need another yeah uh, forgot to put another brace okay so start quiz 
fill it all in. Does it tell me the time? Yes, you complete the quiz in six seconds. Now the only thing left to do is to make another button that reloads the page. Okay, so we're gonna insert that button here. So we're going to copy this again. And we're gonna copy and paste the code for inserting buttons, which is over here. Okay, so we copy that code. And then instead of it saying check answers, I wanted to say reload quiz. Okay, and the function of it, when we click it, instead of making it run a pre a function that we defined, we're gonna make it run a function that belongs to the location object. So you should be familiar with objects now, but the location object um, is an object that refers to our current location our current address that we are on so magic monk tutorials slash um, javascript slash lesson 9.html so that's our location and we're gonna reload it okay reload the page that's basically what it means so if I save this now refresh start quiz fill in all this at supersonic speeds it now has my reload quiz button at the end. Click that. It reloads the whole page. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.